So, unfortunately, we got a no cooling call. Um, I don't even know on that. Uh, maybe it's a 97 by a serial number. I'm not sure. Um, it's an old one. Set it iced up. They turned the disconnect off for me. Um, he was up here watching me for a minute, so I didn't get much video, but uh, jumped a blower, blower ran. So that's not the problem. So I'm gonna say it's low on charge. I got the, uh, I don't see any oil or anything. The only thing I'm noticing is it's freaking dirty. I reached in there looking for oil in the drain pan and I got that. You can see the condenser is beat up a little bit back here. These discharge this way and out the top. And I mean, it's beat up inside. There's crap. You can't see it up top, but it's got build up up top. Um, told him about that. They, apparently they're gonna replace this one and then the run cap bandit's been, a, been in here too. I don't know what the hell they did with all this. It's like they had a speed control that they, low ambient that they did something with. I don't know. I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything too crazy to this to try to make it perfect. He said it was gonna get replaced at some point. Get some rust back there. I don't see anything that really looks like a leak or oil, but I'll bet it's in that evaporator. Um, so let's get some gauges hooked up to it and we'll cycle it, see what it looks like. We're probably gonna have to add a little refrigerant. Um, blower was going the correct direction, right way. Filter, apparently these are being changed. It's not terrible, it's a little dirty, but nothing that would have caused it to freeze up. there's seals in there or not I gotta hit on both of them I was just gonna do a quick scan of the evaporator industrial area here the airport's close to us um, I had a video on one of their old boilers out here a while back ago we replaced four big rooftops like hundred ton carrier units that we did the controls on as well really getting anything on that spot that I saw. I don't see any oil in there. But I tell you what, I'm getting hits right here. enough of you. I don't know if there's seals in these things. There is a seal. It doesn't mean they're not leaking, but we got a seal too. Um, so if nothing else, we can put new valve cores in. <clears throat> it's got some pressure. So let's get, uh, I got my probes up here. Let's hook our probes up see what happens from there. Did I mention I hate these units? I'm trying to get this freaking panel back together. I'm trying to get in there and see the evaporator better. Heat exchanger's got some cracks in it. Oh, 
of course. Look at that plate. And the insulation hanging down on it too, that's always good. Oh. So, that, that made these units so difficult to take apart. So, you had to take one panel off to get the other panel off, and then it's a freaking jigsaw puzzle to put back together. Now we wait for whatever time delay. My head pressure's gonna be up. I can see some crap up inside there. Um, we got at least our probes connected. I didn't do supply air. I'm not really concerned about the damn temp drop at this point. It's probably gonna be off anyways. God, I hate these things. And I got tired of waiting, so I jumped it out. Terribly low. I mean, it's been sitting off for a couple days. I mean, my outdoor temp was, I mean, it's about 90 out here. I mean, I'll show 87. 98. It would be nice to have that space temp right now. That head pressure is only going to climb. So we're going to watch it for a little bit. It, um, I, mean, I know my condenser is dirty. He said it had ice back to the compressor because he didn't tear this thing apart. He just looked basically looked down inside here and just saw the ice of the compressor. freeze up at this point so I'm gonna have to watch and see uh, I don't know what the space temp is but it's got to be hot I'll go down and check the space temp maybe uh, we'll get my supplier probe hooked up and return super heat's coming down what do y'all think why did it freeze up could be when it gets down to 10 but that suction pressure is dropping I did uh there was a piece of insulation on top that it sucked down. It wasn't completely sucked down, but I have no way to secure it, so I tore it off. No, it's not the best thing, but it's what I did. So um, it's possible that could have just pulled down even worse and stopped up one side of the blower. back up to 240 and drop now super heat's dropping why's my head pressure dancing is the thing I mean fucking coal is at least a little bit dirty and at least a little bit damaged I still think it would be steady So we're gonna watch it for a little while. We'll get some uh, temp reading, see what it is inside, and go from there. We're still sitting about the same. It's in the best place to try to get a good view, but um, I mean, it's fluctuating a little bit. There could be something going on there. Let's see, see where we're at. I mean, fuck, it's a. 20 degree drop, right? 19.6. This thing's doing pretty damn good. Um, oh, what was my return error? 75. 
Maybe it was that insulation that got plugged up in there. I mean, at this point, I ain't adding no charge to it. It looks pretty damn good. Besides, my, my head pressure was fluctuating a little bit, but, I mean, hell. No telling what's been done to this thing over the years. So we're gonna watch it for a little bit longer and see where we go. But as long as that evaporator stays fairly warm like that, I'm not gonna mess with it. See what Measure Quick tells us, but I got 20 degree drop. I don't know what more I'm gonna do by adding my, my super heat's reasonable. I mean, let's see what it says my target is. So target's 10. I mean, I'm running eight. I mean, I'm not terribly concerned about any of these readings. This is gonna fluctuate, we know that. But I don't see anything that causes it to freeze up. Um, it may have non-condensables, because, I mean, as my head pressure goes up, obviously my suction pressure comes up. But I really, after all this runtime, I shouldn't be fluctuating that much on my head pressure but I mean fix that we got to recover and start over they ain't gonna do that with R22 this thing running they gonna leave it alone we'll see how it changes but measure quick just gave me a green flag By all these readings, I mean, I, that's, I give it a green flag too. That's not stable because my head pressure's going up. Oh, I missed it again. Uh, dirty condenser and non-condensables, or both, because I would say it's both. So, let's see if they want me to clean it. They want me to down even know if we got water out here. So that's what I was seeing on the inside. It doesn't look too bad on the inside inside. I can't see real well, but I'm sure there's some buildup in there. Cause that got that bad. So we're gonna rinse it. We'll try to comb that out. Not a whole lot I can comb on the other side, but um, we'll get my hose up here and rinse it and then start over and see where we're at. So, I got it cleaned up the best I could. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. I just wanted to get it clean, all the big stuff off. Um, but I still like I got better airflow. That cycle back on, I went and cleaned the drain line too. I'm not trying to make this thing perfect. I couldn't ask for much better out of this thing. It's been running for 15, 20 minutes. Um, Everything looks about normal. The head pressure is still kind of fluctuating as the sun comes in and out. Superheat's been pretty steady. Six degrees right now. Let's see what it's supposed to be. Come on, my fingers don't work. I calculated five, I'm at six. So, um, what is our temp drop? This thing's doing pretty good for as old as it is. We're at almost 19 degrees. I'm gonna call this one good. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, that had to be that insulation caused it to freeze up and block part of that blower off or something. But uh, it's rare that I get a green flag how to measure quick on anything commercial and anything this old. I am reading discharge pressure too, so it's sub a little skewed, but anyways, I'm happy with it. I'm going to leave it like it is, um, let them know what I did, and when we're going to start trying to button this thing back up. Did I mention I don't like this configuration? These are just bad old designs. So this guy's going to be alright for a little while. Condenser fan's making a little noise, but it is what it is. It's probably going to die soon. Alright guys, so we're just headed home, wrap that call up. Um, uh, public service announcement uh, always check your thermostats if you jump something out like that. Uh, I jumped I turned the thermostat on 
before I left as I was cleaning up. The thermostat blower relay had failed, so it actually cycled the cooling and not the blower, which he called for it freezing up. And that's exactly what it did with the call from the stat. So uh, just jumped it with the cooling for right now. He was ready to go, and he may change the thermostat himself. Uh, the unit may be going soon, I'm not sure, but we will find out. But everything looked good from there. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all the support. So leave me a comment. Leave the trade better than you found it. We'll see you guys next time.